spend a few moments and talk with you about melodic motion etude number 25. This one is in E minor and goes through several of the primary pillars of the chords. Five, one, some four. We get them all here, one, four, and five. We're in a minor key, we're in E minor. If you've not yet done so, I'd appreciate it greatly if you would subscribe to the channel. If you're enjoying the content, like, share, and leave a comment. If you're really enjoying it and you'd care to leave me a tip, I would appreciate that as well. My PayPal information's in the link below. And here's Melodic Motion Etude number 25. Or let's just do... We'll do the unembellished version here. So this is seven and eight, E and G. We're coming down with a descending line. So we're pulling off eighth fret to seventh and landing on E, ninth fret, third string, before coming up to this five chord which is just an intermediate step between inversions of E minor. We're going to go from E and G to G and E. It's a voice exchange. So this is a neat way to get there. So we're going to come up to 9 and 9. This is F, F sharp and E. And we're going to drop, this is a 4-3 suspension, the fourth degree of the scale is coming down to three. It's a B7 chord in second inversion. This is the fifth in the bass. We could go and end the whole thing right there. It, it sounds like one, five, one. So it's a handy move to know. Here's G and E, 10 and nine. It's a first inversion E minor chord. 10 and 9, G and E. Now we're going to get B, G, and B. So this is another expression of E minor. if you want to go up to the first string and now here's A minor and we're going to be 10 and 10 C and A with a G below on the second string eighth fret and drop that B note down so here we are at 9 10 9 8 now this is part of B7. It's the flat seven and the fifth, A and F sharp, with the sus in between the fourth degree on the ninth fret. So seven, seven, nine, and back to our second inversion B chord, ninth and eighth fret, and then back to E minor either here or the inversion. Melodic motion etudes are really meant to give you some starting points to for then <clears throat> you to get a little experimental in your upper line and your bass line, move things around. The structures are solid, so you can add notes and your ear will tell you right away if you like the combinations or not. If you've watched this long, I greatly appreciate your kind attention. Please let me know if you have questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos. And I, as always, do wish you a very good day.